to all my gorgeousness. My name is Alan Sabulia and today I'm going to teach you on how to determine if you are being friend zoned. Ooh. Yeah. The reason I'm doing this is because, look, my whole entire life I have witnessed hearts being torn out, twisted, you know, just thrown onto the road. Oh, and look, a car just might decide to, you know, run over it a couple of times. And then the driver might get out of that car and you know, start jumping on that car until it's really squashed down. And then after they're done, you know, they just kick that heart to the curb and just, you know, keep on driving. Thanks for listening, you know, to my little analogy. This is because girls and guys all across the world try to win over their crush only to be classified as a friend. Well, that's just pretty shitty, isn't it? But you know what sucks even more? Losing your dignity, fighting over someone that may never, you know, reciprocate. You know? Sorry, but it's true. So let's start with how to tell if you are being friend zoned. It's actually quite simple. If you've ever been on the receiving end of this. Oh my god, lately my hormones <clears throat> have been kicking in so much. I'm getting like super horny. So I'm gonna give a guy like, you know, the best time of their life. I just get like really rough and like really dirty with them. Rawr. Oh my god. Yes, so um, do you have any suggestions maybe <laughs> with who? Cindy, hey, I just wanted to tell you, you're always there when I need you. You fool complete me. Kind of like what a sister is, you know, to a brother, you know? <laughs> I'm totally kidding, sister. Of course you're not a sister to me. You know, you're much more than that to me. More like a mother figure, Cindy. So let's say in like 10 years, I don't find a husband. Which probably won't happen, but still. Let's just get married. It's like you and me. Like, let's just do it. I can be my little, like, you know, plan B. <laughs> B for best friend. <laughs> I swear, it's so hilarious every time you try and pretend to come on to me. It's almost as if you're, like, for real. You're such a good actress. You know, especially considering like, you're a lesbian. Wait, you are a lesbian, right? No, nothing. I just, um, you know, it assumed. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, knuckle man, give me some knuckles. Oh, yeah, good girl. Oh my god, wait, um, when we meet up tomorrow, don't forget to bring your hands because I'm gonna be in desperate need of them. Because we're gonna dye my roots tomorrow. Look at them, they're getting so dark. Ew. You dying as much as I am right now? You can be like my own little personal hairstylist. Look, Cindy, I never say this to you. I guess I just, you know, don't have the guts, but you are one of the best people I have seriously ever met in my life. You're just incredible in every way, and you're beautiful, and you're smart, and you're funny. This might sound silly, but I've actually been thinking a lot about marriage lately. So I was wondering, Cindy, will you be my groomswoman? Because Caitlin and I are getting married next week. Can you believe it? I am going to, you know, dress you up in a tuxedo. So don't worry, you will look exactly like a man. Alan, can you come into the change room? I oh, hey, sorry, just need your advice. Does this bra fit me? Wait, you are gay, right? Oh, thanks so much for coming with me. You're like the only guy that could ever see me naked. Oh, Cindy, what's up, bro? Give me some skin, yeah. So, um, Jason just having a pool party tomorrow and we were just both wondering, do you have any, like, hot single girlfriends that you could bring? Oh, and by the way, you can come as well, like, you know, if, if you want. Just that, you know, there'll be heaps of straight people there. Sorry, I keep forgetting you're not a lesbian. Um, I just want to cuddle you. You're so cute. You take my little buddy. You need my little buddy. You need my little buddy. Hey, Shanika, what's up? No, 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 I'm not here with anyone important. Don't worry, it's just Alan. Oh my god, no, shut up. I do not see him in that way. We're just friends. Oh my god, I'm no. No. Jared thinks we're going out. That's why he hasn't asked me out in like a month. Oh my god, no, no, no. Tell Jared I would never go for someone like Alan. Like, are you serious? Have you seen how his eye like twitches sometimes? It's so weird. It's like... Uh, like, are you mentally stable? Like, what's going on there? He just looks like a fugly fish. And that would make so much more sense if you smelt his breath. Oh my god, Alan, sorry. He's standing right in front of me. I should go. I'm being rude. 
Okay, bye. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Mate, you're a bloody cracker. All right, see you later, Mum. Bye. Cindy, my mum just said the funniest shit ever. She said something like, Oh, I always thought you and Cindy, you know, would get married and live happily ever after in each other's arms until death do you apart. Like, <laughs> Why aren't you laughing? Alan, oh my god, it's like your friend Jason the other day. He's quite hot, isn't he? Oh my god, can we please, like, go have dinner together, maybe one night? With my mum. Because she said she's dying to see you ever since you got that mole removed from your eyelid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video and if you did then please show me some support. Please go subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please share the video, give it a massive thumbs up and by watching this video if any of you have realised Damn girl, I have been friend zone. What an asshole. Then hey, don't worry because one day you will find someone who wants you just as much as you want them. And that's you know what we call love, my friends. Woo! Getting emotional. So as usual, I love you all so much. But obviously, you know, just as as friends, um, you know. But you never know what might happen in the future. <laughs> anyway, bye.